Mordecai sent this reply to Esther. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this? Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai. Go and gather together all the Jews of Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will do the same. And then, though it is against the law, I will go in to see the king. Esther 4 verses 14 through 16. What does it mean to live a life of purpose? We all strive to live meaningful lives. We talk of making a difference or of living life to the fullest. The time that we have been given on this earth is a gift and we want to use it well. If we're honest though, we may not feel that our day-to-day -day lives are all that remarkable. We can feel caught up in the normal, treading the waters of average responsibilities with little time available to take on the extraordinary. Or perhaps, the situations we find ourselves in are extremely challenging. Maybe there is no shortage of problems and puzzles to be solved, but we feel ill-equipped to tackle them. In these moments, the doldrum and the daunting, what does it look like to live with purpose? As you reflect upon this question, take a slow, deep breath. Release the burdens and expectations you are shouldering. Open yourself up to the ways in which the Spirit is speaking to you. You have been fearfully and wonderfully made by the Lord. Unique and individual, God has created you with intention and He is guiding your steps. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reminds us, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Our lives, whether they seem mundane or formidable, are full of opportunities to show love and grace to our communities. Opportunities to treat others with compassion, to stand for justice and mercy. These may not be opportunities we envisioned or planned for, but they are chances placed before us all the same. As simple as a conversation, as bold as taking a stand, our actions can serve as an intersection of the heavenly with the ordinary. Esther did not set out to become a savior for her people. The circumstances confronting her seemed too perilous to face. And yet, Esther and Mordecai recognized that it was God at work. God equips his people for his purposes. Ask yourself, how has God equipped me to embrace the opportunities before me? What would it look like to set aside feelings of insecurity and unsurety and open oneself up to God's purposes? Ephesians 2 verse 10 assures us, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Perhaps our situations are not as fraught as Esther's, but our purpose is no less significant. When we embrace the opportunities before us to reflect the character of God to the world, we are living well. Gracious God, 
Open my eyes to the opportunities you have placed before me. Give me courage to step out in faith, full of the knowledge that your plans are for my good. Help me to reflect your light unto the world and unto your people. This guided prayer meditation is presented to you by Alabaster. Learn more at alabasterco.com.